welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The PM says that federal authorities are ready to assist Victoria after severe storms and bushfires swept through the state. Strong winds knocked down six transmission towers between Melbourne and Geelong, leaving hundreds of thousands without power. While a 50-year-old man has died after he was struck by debris during the storm, Anthony Albanese telling Parliament it is a tragic turn of events. In the last 24 hours, nature has thrown everything at the people of Victoria. Tragically, in Gippsland, the storms have claimed the life of a local farmer and we offer our heartfelt condolences to everyone touched by this loss. While separately, two bushfires in the Grampians National Park have been downgraded. Staying in Victoria and 10 days after Ballarat mum Samantha Murphy went missing and the state's top cop has confirmed her disappearance is now being treated as suspicious. The mother of three has not been seen since leaving her home to go jogging on February 4. The missing persons unit has taken over the investigation. A federal court judge has concluded it was reasonable for Lisa Wilkinson to hire her own lawyer for the Bruce Lerman defamation trial. It is still unclear how much Network 10 will be ordered to pay its former employee. But Ms Wilkinson's legal costs are believed to amount to about a million dollars. The boss of Australia's Defence Force admits he's battling to keep and attract people to the ADF. Eligible defence personnel are being offered a one-off $50,000 bonus if they agree to stay for another three years. And Mazda has been ordered to pay more than $11 million in fines for misleading consumers about their guarantees. The federal court found the company made 49 false or misleading representations to nine consumers who'd been experiencing faults with their vehicles. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Australia's Adam Scott has stopped short of blaming Liv for the growing party atmosphere at golf tournaments. Organisers were forced to cut off alcohol service at the Phoenix Open due to a rowdy crowd. And Aussie Alex Dimonor has beaten American Sebastian Corda in straight sets at the Rotterdam Open. In your entertainment news now, and Courtney Kardashian is lapping up the rock and roll lifestyle while in Australia. The 44-year-old reality star has taken to social media to document her idyllic trip. Joining hubby Travis Barker is his band Blink-182 tours here. J-Lo has revealed she offered Khloe Kardashian a role in her new film, but the reality star turned her down. The 54-year-old icon has been promoting her new musical, This Is Me Now, revealing that Khloe was one of a few Hollywood celebs she actually approached for roles. And Kanye has overtaken Taylor Swift as the top artist globally on Spotify. After dropping his most recent album, Vultures, the rapper has dethroned his rival as she prepares to continue her era's tour in Melbourne this week. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News Team. We'll have another episode of the update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.